Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In this one we're going to take a look at the snap rotate feature and that is when you have a you've got a VR headset on and you've got a very small space you haven't always got the ability to physically turn around and have a look um, so using the thumbsticks we can rotate our player. Let's jump right in. So here we are back in our scene where we left it last time from the previous tutorial where we were looking at the teleportation anchors and in the teleportation areas and what we're going to do in this one is very simply allow the feature to snap rotate our player um, so that they can use their thumbstick on either controller and it's going to rotate them around and face the direction they want to be facing. Uh, and that's actually surprisingly easy to do, you'd be relieved to know. By going to our XR rig, where we have our teleportation provider and our locomotion system set up, we're going to go ahead and add a component. And this is simply going to be called Snap Turn Provider. See it pop up in the list there. Go ahead and click that one. Now on this script, uh, there's a couple of things we need to drag in. So you'll see it's looking for the locomotion system. And that's actually attached to this game object that we're currently on. So we're going to go ahead and drag in our XR rig into that slot. The turn input source is the button that's going to power the rotation. Uh, and we can either use our primary 2D axis or a secondary 2D axis. Primary 2D axis is a good one because that's our um, left and right thumbsticks on our controller. Um, now we need to specify what controllers we're going to be using for this snap turn. So where we see controllers, if you don't see size, go ahead and click on the arrow. Change that to two. We've got two controllers. And then extend our XR rig so we can see our controllers in the hierarchy. And then drag them in. We've got the left hand controller and the right hand controller. Turn amount is going to be the angle at which you turn on every snap. So once we press left or right on our primary thumbstick, we're going to turn 45 degrees in the either direction uh, and that's quite good that's not too much uh, if you have it too much the could, player could get quite disorientated so that's quite a good number to leave it at the dead zone is going to be let's say the player some people rest their thumbs on the primary thumbstick and may move them slightly by accident so the dead zone is going to give that action a little bit of tolerance so you actually have to press the button quite far or almost to, the, to its maximum point before it is going to allow the teleport. And the activation timeout is going to be the, the amount of time between snaps. So let's say a player accidentally holds right, they don't start spinning in circles because this is going to stop that from happening. So they're going to press left or right and then it's going to take 0.5 of a second before that action is allowed to occur again. So now that we've got this set up, we can go ahead and build and give it a test. Right now, here we are. So we are in VR. All our interaction is working as before. Um, we can reach out and touch stuff. We've got a distance grab. We've got our, our teleport all working, and that's all neat. So, so then wrote, if, if one, you saw the problem there. So I went over here, um, and now I've got to look all the way back over here. And you might not necessarily have the space, but now using the snap turn provider, we can just go ahead and use our right thumb stick and rotate around, left or right. And you can see there the um, the delay kicking in, so it doesn't allow us to rotate too quickly, which is nice. So I can go ahead and I'll go and teleport to my um, teleport anchor. I'm facing the right way, but if I want to be facing that way, turn around. So in my so in my mind, there's really a set of VR fundamentals that should be leveraged in every kind of experience, and that's teleportation, grabbing, and turning. In our next batch of tutorials, now we've covered all those, we can actually look at uh, interacting with some elements. So as you can see here, I've got my cubes. But as I'm going near them, like they're glowing, as I'm hovering over them, when I'm picking them up, I've got my label over the top of here, which is something I actually saw um, from a game called Transference, uh, which I actually really liked. I thought it was a really, really nice touch. Um, if you haven't seen that game, I'd, I'd highly recommend it. Uh, but yeah, what we'll do is we'll have a look at creating some of these actions when you're hovering over some objects. Well, that's everything for this tutorial. I really hope you liked it. And the next one, as I say, we're going to be taking a look at creating some um, actions that happen when you interact with objects. And if this video has helped you in any way, then please feel free to leave a like. It really helped me out. Thanks very much. See you soon.